How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell. Well, he seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The owners, they were, uh... We were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him now. We just... Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. 
But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happen. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Trying to let it go. Try to get some It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full, uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones. God bless you all. Hey, Carly. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? 
I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's dramatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. 